Good night, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says 10 minutes past 10 on Monday night. I think just Tony Murray that mentioned the other night uh, that I was I sounded tired. It's because I'm in a and b and the rooms are fairly close, so I don't want to be uh, talking loud. I don't know what I'm at. I think I'm talking to myself. Well, they hear me singing after a bit. <clears throat> I'm here in the Banner County in Doolan. I uh, got here uh, today about 12.30. Uh, killed a bit of time driving about and went on the ferry out to do the Cliffs of Moher cruise. So they were gone over an hour. Seas was a bit rough, um, but there was no sickness, I don't think. Um, and then they went for a couple hours eating and walking. And I was in a dilemma. So uh, I didn't know what to do. I went in and I said I might have fish and chips. I went into um, Fitzpatrick's, is it? 22 euro for fish and chips. So I said no. So the appetite went off me fairly lively. And I got something up in the shop. Um, the fairly do have the saddle ready to put on the yank when, he's, when the summer comes. That's way too much, 22 euro for fish and chips. Um. We were in where? Killarney last when I spoke with you. Uh, things are going smooth enough, grand. Um, plenty of eating and drinking for them. We're off to Galway tomorrow. We'll see how they're feeling after being knocked out of the hurling. Uh, there could be a lot of long faces. I'll have to rise a few of them from a distance. Um, we had, yesterday, we had Miles from Wicklow gambled on, went off favourite, uh, looked all over winner and traded one to two in running, coming to the last. And you got uh, outstayed by your darling. Um, as I had uh, tipped it up in the guineas, as I ran ahead of a race, came there looking like um, it was going to win it at the before the furlong pole. But considering that it only had ran and won a maiden and uh, turfed into a grade one, finished sixth. Um, so the pity that I didn't finish fourth at worst to get each way money. But I don't think we'll have long to wait to get whatever we lost on that back in the barrow. And Hart leads, leads two miles. Uh, be interesting to see what they do with him if they run in one of the handicaps in Galway. Um, then I put up two today. Bystander, as the market suggested, wouldn't go on the ground. I thought it would after his brother had won on the soft ground in uh, France and in being by Dark Angel. They like a bit of juice. Um, never got into it. And the other one got brought down, went absolutely travelling like a, a winner coming from behind or a toe to two. He was the other ones were coming under the cash. Um, I thought we I'd love to have seen it. Uh, what would happen? But just I was getting, uh, I was perking myself up. Um, he was six to one this morning, thirteen to two. Anyway, on to to oh yeah, while I'm in few newcomers, I didn't get a chance the last couple of days to get on the comments. But today, when we were in uh, Doolan, I went through them. Newcomers take. That's T I C, uh, Gunnar Rubini, uh, Dave Parker, Aidan Tomes, Paul Willoughby, and Nigel Hall. And I see that Justin O'Donovan had a couple of messages left. One was I going playing poker in Timber League. That was the night I had to go to Killarney for the uh, switch of vehicles. So that I didn't know there was a game on there, and uh, uh, it wouldn't be that far out actually. So if I'm down in that neck of the woods again, uh, I might it would be nothing be, give me greater pleasure than take a few uh, langer uh, euro. Um, and then he had left a message about uh, he was at the Garden of Remembrance. We passed by that actually the next time we didn't stop. Uh, you weren't that far away from us. Anyway, we'll bump into you again uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. There's a mile six, a uh, three-year-old only um, handicap in red care. 
The favourite is a lightly raced horse owned by the king and trained by Willie Haggis. It has been gelded, candle wax, 006, it's like a phone number, first time blinkers, rated 51. Uh, I mean, it. you'd imagine when they kept it in training that rather than putting it under a cart, uh, that it'll win a race probably. But I thought the top weight, even though it's given a lot of weight away, is a Mac 10. On a couple of runs this year, I think the step up in trip will suit. Uh, actually this is the race last year we came across the uh, Pledge of Allegiance won for us we won this race last year but in uh, in Wolverhampton to staying on well uh, and it had ran okay on the softish ground I thought before um, that could be the big problem is, is it going to be soft heavy in places or not we look at it here in Chester um Pokes his head in front. It's not risky. He's trying hard to respond. On the outside, Contacto deep into the here. straight then as they come up now inside the final furlong and a half. And User Amistoso, a massive danger to 410 Fever. User Amistoso battling on bravely. 410 Fever responding. Contacto's back in third place. They're like racing upside the final 75 yards or so. 410 Fever and Will Buick. 4-1-0 Fever lands the money from Contacto and User Amistoso and they were a mile clear of the... St when he was making his initial run coming around the turn he nearly got knocked down and he, for a three-year-old um, he was sort of all over the kip. Um, now there's all kinds of horses in here. There's what, there's three of them, only the three runs so they could turn out to be anything so keep an eye on the market. But uh, I was trying to get one on the flat during the day, and that's the one I came up with. Uh, it's second favourite there. Well, joint favourite with some of them. Um, then we go to... The 7.25 at Bangor. Now, Boombon ran today, so that's unlikely to run tomorrow, I would imagine. Uh, now, I'm putting... This is the reason I'm, I'm going to go for first street in this. Good while ago, it done us a good turn. And I won the, wasn't it the Great Wood it run? Won. So then November. Yeah. That wasn't the Great Wood. The Intermediate Hurdle. November 22. I was at a wedding in, in uh, Waterford that day. But the last day in Warwick, uh, and it was the first time, this is going to be the first time it's running at three miles. But it's back here, right? Boom Bond is here, and Boom Bond wins it. In behind them, Call of the Wild is still being patiently ridden. Boom Bond continues to creep as well. First Street is only another length in behind as well as they come towards the second last. Authorised speed in the centre. Away to the right, Call of the Wild just touching down ahead. But here is Boom Bond travelling ever so well. Away to the left, Boom Bond has come there cruising. At the last, Call of the Wild just ahead of Boom Bond who appears to be laughing at them in the hands of Skelton. Way out, firmly ridden and responding. Boom Bond though, kidded, Joel just ahead, so confidently ridden. Boom Born just clearing off now by heart. <coughs> Boom Born, my word. Beat way out into second, call of the wild in third. First street. He ran on well there, and this is going to be his first time running at beyond two and a half mile for the first time. So I was thinking if Boom Born didn't go, uh, hometown boy hasn't run for a while. Um it fell the last time. It's a classy sort of a horse, but it, I it, I was putting it between the two of them, and I was going with first three on the strength of a um a recent run. So I would check the prices. Anyway, on to the next one. 
this is a horse that we backed the last day at a huge price media naranja i think it's just 50 to one was it and it, i thought it might go out in front the last day because or in being the first three or four but to the a false start a couple of times at least once anyway and he started off or she did at the back of the pack but she closed very well considering like she had run in the county hurl um, and all the other races was listed handicap hurls and a grade three behind irish point um, has won at the track won in ballon robe last year um, so it lacked on it This is the race in Punches. Now that's it with the red cap there. Catina Zapata. After them is Nana and Holly and Killymore Lad as they head for the home turn. Whiskey Wells makes the run for the entrance to the straight. Yeah. Tracked in by Pigeon House is much closer. Then Mac and the Million. War Cut is fun. And closing in between horses is Nana. Then Catina Zapata and Killymore Lad next with Holly answering. Bowmore, Meaning Naranja. Timeless Peace is next as they turn into the straight. Just over two furlongs to go. And it's Pigeon House who's come to claim Whiskey Wells as they straighten past the two. One left to jump. And the specialist group handicap hurdle. And it is Pigeon Pigeon House has gone for this race. Kenny Morlad comes out of the pack, moving <coughs> up to chase. Then Mac and a million whiskey well fades. Nada down the outside. Coming to the final flight, it's Pigeon House from Kenny Morlad, the challenger. Nada two lengths off them, but closing. It's on the final furlong. Timeless pieces down at the last. Just Pigeon House strongly pressed by Kenny Morlad. They're locked together. Pigeon House on the inside, and Nico de Boinville are forging on by three parts of a length to see off Kenny Morlad. Third is Nada, a gap in a median range, and the club manager, Mac. So it's the only one that closed from from off the pace that day, nearly or that race, but even in, in the races as well, um it was all front runners. Um Jill Port that's uh has been running that has been over fences, hasn't it? Yeah. Over fences back to hurdles. It's something I do avoid. And it's into sixes now and it's actually fours with William Hill if they're up to the five. So there is hate money going on. It was twelves. It opened at twelves with um, the green bookie. So there would be sevens now because they're always the same price as Betfair there. They're hiding on us. But we know what they're at because they left up Betfair. They'd be the same price. Um, why had a Tipperary opened? Oh, the ground. I had a horse picked out here, but I hope it does yield in ground. If in the event the ground dries out, I'll have a look at one for tomorrow. The horse in question, I might as well say it was seven seas. This is best runs with a five furlongs on yield and ground. But if that's soft to heavy, it was no good on it a couple of times. If you look at there, when it ran on heavy ground, it was seven to 14 and it was 12 to 23. On a good ground there, it was third to 21 at five then back at six the last day i wouldn't say the six was as bad as the soft ground but uh, again uh, if it's soft to heavy i wouldn't bother but if it was yielding or i don't know if it's drying out or not <coughs> a bit caught in the in the chest but uh, it's monday night and what do we do on a monday night we sing singing another song see how we'll go we might sing too Here's one from the late, the late John Prine. You come home late and you come home early. You come on big when you're feeling small. You come home straight and you come home curly. Sometimes you don't come home at all. What in the world's come over you? And what in heaven's name have you done? You've broken the speed of the sound of loneliness. You're out there running just to be on the run. Well, I got a heart that burns with a fever. And I got a worried and a jealous mind. How can a love that last forever get left so far behind? What in the world's come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? You've broken the speed of the sound of loneliness. You're out there running just to be on the run. 
It's a mighty mean and a dreadful sorrow. It's crossed the evil line today. Well, how can you ask about tomorrow? When we ain't got one word to say. So what in the world's come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? You've broken the speed of the sound of loneliness. You're out there running just to be on the run. So what in the world's come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? You've broken the speed of the sound of loneliness. You're out there running just to be on the run. You're out there running just to be on the run. I will go for another one. Recorded in December 1973. Goodbye, my friend, it's hard to die. When all the birds are singing in the sky. Now that the spring is in the air. Pretty girls are everywhere. Think of me and I'll be there. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the hills that deep we climbed were just seasons out of time. Goodbye, Papa, please pray for me. I was the black sheep of the family. You tried to teach me right from wrong. Too much wine and too much song. Wondered how I got along. Goodbye, Papa, it's hard to die. When all the birds are singing in the sky. Now that the spring is in the air. Little children everywhere. When you see them, I'll be there. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the wine and the song, like the seasons, have all gone. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the wine, like the song, like the seasons, have all gone. Goodbye, Michelle, my little one. You gave me love and helped me find the sun. And every time that I was down, you would always come around and get my feet back on the ground. Goodbye, Michelle, it's hard to die. When all the birds are singing in the sky, now that the spring is in the air, with the flowers everywhere, I wish we, we could both be there. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the hills that we climbed were just seasons out of time. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the wine and the song, like the seasons, have all gone. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the wine and the song, like the seasons, have all gone. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. We had a lot of seasons in the sun. No. That's it. <clears throat> Bash the bookies. Over and out.